Dice from Dice TV. Y'all tuned in to Real Talk Media. Shout out to Real Talk Media in the building. Respectable blog spot, man. Y'all need to tap into it. Y'all ain't following Real Talk Media. Go uh follow the homie, man. That nigga uncut. He facts over feelings by nature. He don't give a fuck. He gonna call it how you see it. I ain't giving a fuck about these industry niggas' feelings. What's going on YouTube? This your boy Real Talking now tuned into Real Talk Media. Got something different to talk about today, boy. So um, I figured I'd give y'all an update on what's going on as far as for the Takashi 69 situation. And y'all probably think I'm talking about the main situation where he got indicted with Shoddy and Foo Banger and Mill Murder and a bunch of other motherfuckers. But that's not what I'm talking about. If y'all remember when he um had went to court a while ago, right after he left court, he was supposed to be going to a restaurant to meet with Elliot Grange or somebody from the record label. And there was an incident between their security and Takashi's homeboys, a.k.a. security and them. Well, Takashi was with uh Crippy. Crippy did get indicted with him. Well, allegedly, Takashi was with Crippy. He's with Shoddy. He was with this other nigga, uh, Zachary Bunce, and some other people. And that's when a fight broke out between Takashi Security and the uh, record label security at Philip Child Restaurant. The record label security did not want to let Takashi Security inside of the building for whatever reasons. We're not going to go into those details. But like I said, they get to fighting. A motherfucker hit the security dude in the head with a chair or something. And one of the other security dudes pull out the pistol and get the bus and boom, boom, boom. Shot Crippy ass up. He was in the hospital. They had to give him a shit bag. But uh, anyway, it was another person that was there. Like I said, Zachary Bunce. Well, he struck a plea deal today. He went ahead and pleaded to three years probation. And um, he gonna have to stay up out the way for three years. Basically, he pleaded to misdemeanor assault, got probation for three years. And before y'all hear it on any other channel, no, this is not the one who's indicted with him. It's going to be some bloggers who don't know what they talking about. This is a different individual. The other one who is indicted with him is Crippy. Or his nickname is Crippy. Not the dude that I'm talking about right now. So if y'all get confused, just come on back to this channel. Anyway, as of right now, the Zachary Bunce dude is not indicted. His name is not in that paperwork. It ain't got nothing to do with that. However, that is a superseding indictment. So they are going to charge a few more people in the Takashi 69 case. But as of right now, this and that is separate. As far as for Crippy's relation to that case in particular, he's still fighting that case and he's um still fighting this Fed case too. He did not plead out to the uh, assault. He did not plead out to the fight that took place. And basically, I guess he's trying to play the role of a victim. I don't know shit. It is what it is. Oh yeah, by the way, before I get up off of here, make sure y'all go subscribe to Dice TV. That nigga sound like the baby off of Bebe's kids, but he a cool motherfucker. Y'all need to go ahead and check him out. <laughs> Yo, that nigga about to hit me up talking crazy. It is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. By the way, guess what? It ain't all of y'all's fate. Matter of fact, some of y'all ain't even going to know who this motherfucker I'm about to talk about is. But guess what? Why I got some paperwork on somebody's favorite YouTuber. And guess what? That nigga a sex offender. You like fucking with them little girls and pipping little girls, huh? Yeah, y'all going to have to stay tuned because this shit about to get ugly. So I'm working on that video. I already got another video that's basically done. I'm doing some edits on it, final touches, but I think y'all going to enjoy it. And I'm also working on a positive video too, because I know sometimes y'all don't come over here to always hear the negative shit, but it's still going to be real talk. Y'all already know how I get out. So, oh, uh, before I forget, shout out to Luis Gardner, Louis Gardner, Luis Gardner. Y'all know I be high as shit and fucking names up, but I definitely got the donation. Shout out to you. I 100% appreciate it. I don't know what your YouTube name is, but you already know what it is. Side note, somebody sent me a video of this corny ass nigga Bosco speaking on me, King Cashes, and Hip Hop Classics Daily. Now, I don't even know how old this video is, how new it is, or whatever, but he talking about clout chasing. Homeboy, keep my name out your mouth when you talking about clout chasing. You have been doing this since 2010. I've been doing this since 2017. I got more views than you. You only got a couple thousand subs more than me, and I had that probably before the end of the year. With that being said, King Cash has got more subs than you, and he got more views than you. Hold on. Hip Hop Classics got more subs and views than you. Who clout chasing, nigga? You want to be where we at. Fuck out of here. And all you weirdo niggas, stay out of my comments, nigga, because you niggas don't talk like that in real life. Bitch ass, nigga. Drop a comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this. I'm on Twitter at Real Talk Blogs. I'm on Instagram at Real Talk Blogger. <laughs> Yo, this shit crazy. I'm out. All it takes is to beat them, I start snapping. Back to rapping, y'all been acting like it's about fashion. Rocking them skinny jeans and them purses. Niggas be dressing like faggots. Doing gay ass dances, but ain't saying shit when they rhyme. But if the beat's something they can dance to, then they think it's something they like. It blow my mind, these niggas be lying like they did crime. Or they did time like I did mine. You can look me up in May 448375.